Hey, you've got to see this. Hmm? What? I've just been talking to a guy who I think would be perfect for the project. Can we talk to him? He's here right now. Hello, guys. Hi. Now I can see you. Andrew, could you introduce your system, please? Okay, my setup is a telepresence solution for people with speech impairment. I'm able to control a robot and compose messages with head movements. Please, go on. People who have severe communication impairment cannot express themselves through speech. This affects people with large range of conditions, for example autism or brain damage. Some impairments prevent the use of hands for communication, limiting control options to head or eye movements. They can often understand language, but it is hard for them to play the active role in communication. In the early days several low-tech tools were developed like head sticks and communication boards. More recently they can take advantage of high-tech tools like a head-controlled mouse to interact with a computer or a mobile device. I am using a see-through head-mounted display. The attached gyroscope detects my head movements as I interact with it. That controls the position of the cursor in my view. Besides audio communication, I can also move and turn the robot to indicate my point of interest. Many types of robots can be used for this purpose. Previous solutions used the Ibo robot. Now I simply use a mobile phone with wheel phone attachment. For composing messages I use a version of a software called Dasher. It predicts the next letter based on the previous ones. A text-to-speech software transforms my words into this voice. The current system is only accessible to people who are able to use the alphabet, right? The symbol-based methods we study could extend the range of users. Exactly. Let me give you an overview of our work here. Some people with communication impairment are unable to use letters. They use symbols instead. We are working on methods to reduce the number of symbols the user has to traverse. Let's say someone wants to buy something in a cafeteria. How would he do that? He chooses I. Then he navigates to the actions page, where he wants to select buy. There are a lot of symbols here for all kinds of situations. It is hard to select from them quickly. From the context, we can automatically recommend the most appropriate symbols based on explicit semantic analysis. By learning the usual behavior, we can predict the next symbol for a given sequence. Nouns can be expanded to phrases by selecting a modifier from a list which can be generated using corpus statistics. To get speech, we must transform the sequence of symbols into an English sentence. This is not trivial and we are experimenting with multiple methods. For example, we can try different permutations of content and function words and check them using language models. I think we should combine our efforts, keep most of the architecture and replace the character-based messaging with communication symbols. I just need to design a new interface and include your modules. Great! I think you should come in our office as soon as possible. Hello guys, it's me, Andrew. Would you like to try the system?